Songs are meant to give revelation to those that are listening to it, to create an atmosphere based on their revelation and understanding so they can connect more with God. The moment that is not there, we've killed that entire worship session. That is why most times you read worship and it looks dry. If you do watch a praise, it looks dry. Nobody responds to it because of this. So, choosing your song, think, what song should I choose? Before you go into range aspect of choosing songs, we're going to go into that next. Now, before you go into that particular range aspect of choosing songs, choose songs based on the message you want to communicate with that song. Is a worship song. Let's say you're singing a song like, Father, we declare that we love you. We declare our everlasting love for you. Do you love God? You that is against, do you love God? Do you even know God? Do you even know God? Because most times you sing this song as celebration. You don't know what you are singing. You know in your heart that this song you are singing, you, you, even the devil is telling you that, until shut up, you don't love God. And then at times the devil will bring pictures in your mind and show you the things, the choices you made. That you didn't choose God, you choose the devil. Because the devil is very good at it. He likes to bring those images to weaken your spirit. So he will bring those images to you and show you, look at it now. See? Yesterday, a person uh, saw some money in your laptop. That is another person's money. Instead of just saying this is not your money, you now put, put it inside your own account. Even though you were hearing God telling you, my daughter, don't do it. You still did it. So that condemnation will make you not to worship in truth and spirit. Why? Because you are half away from the worship. Because your mind is no longer there. You remember something that shows you don't love God. So you must love God. That is why as a worship leader on your own, before you go on stage, pray. Spend time. Drop all the baggages that are on you. Let's say you let's say throughout the entire week, you have done some things. Alright? Before you go on stage, knowing that people's lives are dependent on you ministering to them. And then when you minister to them, you're, you're going to take them to the throne of grace. But you have, can't even go there because your life is not in line with God. So what happens? You go to God and say, God, I know that I don't deserve to do this. But I want to do it because of you. Help me. Take away this body from my shoulder. Take away this thing from me. Cleanse me. And now go on stage. Can I minister? Knowing that you settle with your father before going up there. So when you sing, you will connect. Why? Because there is a relationship between you and who you are calling. But once that is not there, there's a problem. You can't lead worship. And the truth is this. It is in the church, people don't lead worship for entertainment. That one is that your pastor is not saying entertain us. That means your pastor didn't say today now, Sister Kechi will sing and I will entertain when leading worship. No. Your pastor, if he knows what he's doing, knows that if you lead worship, you create an atmosphere. He wants to look at the audience and see people saying, people speaking in tongues, people, you know, jumping, people crying and lying on the floor. That's what he wants to see. Now, when he sees it, he will not, he will not say that your sister can lead worship. He has the Spirit of God in her. So, if that does not happen, there is a problem. That means you don't have what it takes to lead worship. Because anytime somebody else leads worship and that happens, you feel guilty. You get the point now. Anytime somebody else leads worship, and you see that person living worship, you will feel like, ah, what is wrong with me? Why is it that when I live worship? It doesn't happen. But that sister will lead and it will happen. But the thing, the grace is for everybody. The power is for everybody. But you are not assessing the own. So in selecting songs, select songs that communicate your heart, your true heart feeling to God. Songs that makes you express your true love for God. Then, when you do so, People that are listening to you can connect easily. Why? Because as you express your love for God, they are too. There's a story in their life that they can connect with. And they too will be connected to God. So it's the first thing first. Before even knowing how to follow beats and follow timing and not going off, you go to all those ones later. But for that is the most important part. Setting the right precedent that enables people to connect to God. Because souls are more important to God than your skills. So in your mind, you are singing and you are feeling like, yeah, man, I'm doing it. I'm a good singer. But what is saying, my sister? No. People are just there. There's no soul connected to you. There's nobody's coming to me to worship me. They're only hearing your music and fine voice. So why are you doing it on the stage? So switch from entertainment or singing for fun into singing 
for experience. In fact, like for me, I would say, don't live here until you get that conviction that you are going to be singing for experience. But people do it. There are people that want to sing. You can't even stand up. 